you so much for granting us another privilege to come before you, Lord, to seek your face. We are grateful, Lord God, for the assets we have, testimonies that are bound. Lord, we are grateful. We are asking, Holy Father, even as we have come tonight again, the scripture says we do not know what to pray for, but the spirit affects our infirmities with groanings which cannot be altered. Lord, we pray tonight that the spirit of the, the living God we pray through us, empower us to pray, energize us to pray, quicken us to pray, revitalize us to pray, reinvigorate us to pray, and help us, Lord, at the end of the prayer, when we discover that we have been energized and we have been quickened. And Lord, we pray that there will be manifestation to the glory of your name. As leaders over God's people, Lord, you will give all that it takes to impart the congregation under our care. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. At this time, we want to begin to give thanks to God. Let's begin to worship him. Let's begin to exalt him. The Bible says, thanks unto the Father, who has made us to be partakers of the inheritance in life. Give us the powers of For your mercy upon us. Thank you, Lord, because you have done it for us. We thank you, Lord, because Lord, we still continue to do. Good have been so faithful to us. The Bible says, yes, all in vain, how the mighty are not God. How they couldn't have that. God has done the word that the man has done. Thank you. The word that God has confounded. That the mighty are not God. 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 Even Jesus speaks to his disciples that you eat this thing from the pudding, you eat it from the kings of this world, and you reveal them to babes. The things we know, the things that are we are sent to, and the things that are revealed to us as babes in Christ, they are things that the king of this world desire and they are not able to get. And it's not because we are qualified for these things. It's just for the mercy that have been showcased by the Lord towards us. And we do not want to take this for granted. So please open your mouth, pastors pastor, and leaders. Let's honor the Lord. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus, our blessed Redeemer, let's give thanks to him. Lord, we praise you. We thank you, Lord, because you are good. Thank you, Lord, because you are loved by God. We thank you, Lord, because you never change and you never change. Oh, mighty Father, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Oh, mighty Father, we worship you. We glorify your name. We're still thanking the Lord. We're still praising the Lord. We're still worshiping his name. We're still glorifying him. Please adore him. Please worship him. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, mm. as we honor you. <laughs> you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh, oh God. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are Still praising the name of the Lord. Let's yeah. thank the Lord for the work of the Lord in the hands of our beloved Pastor Matthew in the U.S. God has been so faithful. 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 
God has been so faithful, give him glory. Mother give him God. honor. Give him adoration. Exalt his holy name. Let's thank him. But you, Lord. Let's oh praise him. But you, Lord. Oh Let's, oh Let's adore his holy name. But you, but In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank him. Thank you, much, Father. I will worship you. It's like on the day. Thank him. and leaders to be effective in the work of God. Certain things that we need to be effective in the in the work of God. Uh, we saw the, the program on Saturday and that's ministerial renewal by Father in the Lord. There were things that our Father in the Lord said. I do not think I will ever forget some of those things. Now let me remind us one of the things he said. If you are going to revive a dead church as a man of God, and uh, you yourself, he said, the person will not be a dead person himself. If you are going to help somebody else, it means that you have received the help yourself, and then you can help other people. And then uh, if somebody is going to wake another person who is prayerless of, himself must have been a prayerful person. If someone is going to challenge another person on evangelism, himself must have been evangelizing. And that's why tonight's prayer, well, we want to equip ourselves so we can be of great, great blessing to the people we are leading. It will not be right that the congregation or that our care are only in elder scatter and not properly fed. And their needs are not taken care of spiritually and otherwise. And that's why tonight as leaders and pastors, we want to beg God tonight. And we want to ask the Lord to equip us. We want to pray to God to equip us. The ministry work demand equipping. That's why you cannot roll out prayer. You cannot roll out prayer as pastors and leaders. The work in our hands is a spiritual work. The work the Lord has given to all. And if that work will progress and make headway, then we cannot sideline spiritual warfare and prayer. So tonight, as we go before God for equipping, we will also battle every power fighting against the work that have been handed over to us by God. We will battle them in, in the place of prayer. And so we are going before him now. I want to tell the Lord to examine all, examine us, examine all. Are there areas we have gone astray? When I mean gone astray, maybe there are areas we have probably done what we shouldn't have done. Alter ways we shouldn't have altered. Listen to things we shouldn't have listened to. Watch things we shouldn't have watched. And then engage in things we ought not to have engaged in. And so we are doing self-examination. And then we're doing self self examination, taking the retrospect, looking into our heart and our life, and asking him, examine also God. Shall we go to the pray? Whether we are in Christ or in the empty, in the, we are empty, but in the I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in the Lord, 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 you examine us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you are going to examine us in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Father, you are going to examine us in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in everything we do, in everything we lay our hand upon, in everything we engage, in everything we do. Father, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you examine us in the name of Jesus Christ. Our spiritual life, our material life, our entire life, oh my dear, that we pray, our entire life, 
word. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Examine Jesus. us as your servant. Examine us as your servant. Examine us in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. I'm waiting. I'll be taking different passages. I'm reading from Psalm 1119. Psalm 119. In Psalm 119, I'm reading from Psalm 119. I'm reading from verse 18. Or oh, verse 18. Open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I want to pray as God's servant, God will open our spiritual eyes. Amen. God on our spiritual eye. It is not a good thing as pastors and leaders over God's people and we are spiritually blind and we cannot see. And then the enemy come to pick the sheep or keep the pe pick the people under our care and we are not aware. We are not discerning and we are not sensitive to the voice of the spirit. It will not be right. And so we are asking him that we will be sensitive. Our eyes will be opened. Amen. The psalmist Open down my eyes that I may behold. Oh God, open our eyes. Oh God, open our eyes. Holy God, open our eyes. You are asking the Lord now that your eyes will be opened, that your spiritual eyes will be opened. You read the Bible, there will be illumination. You are praying, there will be illumination. You are on the altar, there will be illumination. You are leading God's people. There will be illumination. Open thou my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Are you praying? Are you asking the Lord that the Lord will open your eyes? Literally, the eyes will be opened. Open to spiritual reality. Open to spiritual truth. Open to deep things that we ought to know. The things we ought to know about our congregation. The things we ought to know about the people under our care. God will open our eyes. Shall we pray? Yes, Lord, I pray by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. The power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. The 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 Lord set me free. Silently now I wait for thee. Ready, my God, I wait to be. Open my eyes, illumine me, divine. Ah! Oh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, look at it here. I we are going to pray verse 19. I am a stranger in the air. Add not thy commandment for me. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. There is this prayer. That, that, that prayer is very important. That God will not hide the things we ought to know. Are you Have you realized by the prophet, God rescued the Israelites. God brought them out from the bondage. And by the prophet, he brought them in. We need our eyes to be opened. We need to know issues. Let me show us in Psalm, Psalm 25. In Psalm 25, here is the secret in verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Father, open my eyes. Let me see. The things I ought to see, I don't want to go in darkness. I don't want, do you know that there are people who walk into danger because they are blind? There are people who walk into the camp of the enemies because they are not aware. There are people who just walk into the hand of their destroyers because they are not even, they are not discerning. They are not aware. God, we open our eyes. The secret of the Lord is Hello. with them that fear him. It's with them that fear him. The secret of the Lord. That means God has secrets. That means God has secrets. Yes, yeah, deep things belong to God. 
The scripture says that the secret thing belongs to God, and the things that are revealed, God will reveal. God will reveal. He will reveal. Please, pastor, pray. Lead us pray. Talk to God in prayers. Yes, we have our to in the name of this over judgment of sin. Judgment of this is doing that it's, uh, I do think that we only to you are paying by the power and the blood of Jesus my brother will reveal to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my dear father, you make me your head over Jesus by the power and the blood you make me your face, especially you may I you know in the name of Jesus Christ. In God can be by the power and the blood of Jesus, you will open the secret of heaven for me in the name of Jesus Christ. The secret of the world, whether you will open for me in the name of Jesus Christ, I will see you in the dimension. Lord, 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 I will see you in the mission. Lord, I will see you in the dimension. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will be done. Indeed, the mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. In well, in First Samuel chapter 12, First Samuel chapter 12, First Samuel chapter 12, I read verse 3. Samuel, as a leader over the people, he said, he was talking to the people, he said, behold, I am here, witness against me before the Lord, and before his anointed, whose horse have I taken, or whose house have I taken, or whom have I defrauded, or whom have I oppressed, or of whose hand have I received any bribe to blind my eyes therewith, and I will restore it. Look at what the people say. And they said, Thou art not defrauded us, nor oppressed us, neither has taken out of any man's hand. And you can see here, the man lived a very transparent life. Let's see a corollary passage, a corollary passage in First Thessalonians chapter 2, in verse 10. He are witnesses, and God also, how holily and justly and unblameably we behave ourselves among you that believe. It was Samuel who said, you witness against me. And therefore, the apostle could say the same thing to his audience. He said they were witnesses, and God also was a witness. A witness to the life they were living. We're going to pray that God will enable us and increase us enough to live an unblameable life. There are pastors and leaders who don't believe that you can live so much holy and pure and clean in all ramifications. There are those who don't even believe that somebody can be totally free from sin. There are those who don't believe that holiness can be a reality in the true sense of it, that somebody can live without living in sin. They just feel that you will struggle and struggle till you die. No, that's not scriptural. What the apostles said, how holily, how holily we behave yes, ourselves. And, 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 Let's pray. 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 let us you are going to help me, you are going to help my family, you are going to help my wife, you are going to help my son, you are going to help member of my church to live a, a life that is well, that is blameless in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible let me know that for the woman being this thing is difficult, but to uh, the Almighty God is uh, the easiest thing. I pray by the power of the Bible, Lord, so that you are going to make our life be in the name of Jesus Christ, and your name is going to be glorified. Your name is going to be glorified. I pray by the power and the blood of touch everything concerning me, concerning my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch anything. In the name we pray. Amen. I show you an account here, an account in that uh, uh, Acts chapter 8. There was an account there, and I want to take it to God in prayer as God's servant. In Acts chapter 8, Okay, Acts chapter 13, rather, verse 8. Acts chapter 13, verse 8. Let me take it from verse 7. Okay, verse 8. But Eli, man, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, we stood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, which is also called, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him, and said, O full of all subjecting and all mischief, thou child of the devil, 
thou enemy of all righteousness, when thou not stayest to pervert the way of the Lord, and now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind and not stain the sun for a season. And immediately, God honored the word of Paul the apostle. He was a man full and filled with the Holy Ghost. And we saw here that he made a declaration and he brought judgment upon that perverted man called Elima the sorcerer. And then immediately God honored him. God honored what he said. Now let's see the for me. Let's see what the scripture says in 1 Samuel again, chapter 3. I just read about an account of Paul the apostle. And let's see what happened in the case of this uh, prophet called Samuel. In verse 20, and all this went from down, no, verse 19. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him. And they did not let, and did let, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. We were told that in the case of Samuel, that whatever he said, whatever he declared over the people, will always come to reality. His words were very powerful and, and very pointing to the, to the needs of the people. And they were, the needs of the people were being met. And the lives of the people were being touched. And God was honoring him. He honored him even to the point he became very old. We are going to pray as pastor. How does it look like? We make a declaration and it's not having effect, effect and impact. And we make a decree over the situation of the people. And it's like we are speaking to the thing A. And you are wondering what is the problem? The problem, the pres the, the, the difference may be the presence of the Holy Ghost, the presence of God, the presence of God, and the power of God. We are going to pray, all our pastor and every one of us, God's presence and power will be mightily visible in our life. Amen? I hey. said if God's presence and power will be mightily visible. That when we pray for the needs of the people we are leading, I say, okay, uh, pastor, please pray for me. And you say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we make a decree. Immediately, everyone honors it. Immediately, there's confirmation. Let's yeah. pray. And the presence of God, the power of God, the visible hand of God shall be real upon our lives and ministry. Shall we pray? Name of Jesus Christ, Father, you are going to touch my tongue. You are going to do everything concerning concerning me in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever I say shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my dear Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You that by the act. I don't keep doing a verse here. Father, you turn my friend here. You turn my friend in the name of Jesus Christ. And your name is going to be glorified. And your name is going to be glorified. In God, King, Lord, 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 I beg you for our grace. I pray by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we make declaration of our power to be yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my dear Father. Jesus, my name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Before uh, Samuel and Paul the Apostle got to that level, uh, I, I'm very sure uh, they had one particular experience together. And I will read that experience in, the, in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 6, I am reading from verse 6. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 6. Then flew one of the seraphim unto me, having a life coat in his hand, which he had taken for, with the tongues from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, these have touched thy lips. Hallelujah. These Amen. have touched thy lips. Thy iniquity is taken away and thy sin purged. Before God will so anoint that mouth and that mouth for it to carry so much weight that even we honor at any time and at every time, that mouth must have been touched by God. The iniquity on that mouth, on that tongue must have been taken away. It is not the mouth that is given to gossip and day bearing. It is not the mouth that is given to cursing. And it is not the mouth that is given to worldly things and all that. That mouth must have been forged, cleansed, and purified. We are bringing our mouth before the throne of mercy now. I want to add, are there iniquity on that tongue? Does not make God to honor our word and honor our declaration in any way. Are there iniquity on that tongue in the way we have spoken, in the way we have gossiped? In the way we have discussed, in the way we have done what we shouldn't have done, Father, mm. the blood that is still flowing at Emmanuel's side, Emmanuel vein, let that blood run through that tongue. Let the iniquity on that tongue be taken away. And mm. let the sin on that tongue be purged. The mm. sin on that tongue be purged. The scripture said there was a life code. 
a light go from heaven, a light go from the throne of mercy, a light go from the altar, a light go from the altar, the one that will change our tongue, the one that will change our lips, the one that will change our declaration, the one that will change the things that we vomit out of our mouth. Shall we talk to God in prayer, brethren? Let's pray. something that now happened in Azar chapter 8. Azar chapter 8 quickly. And then we are reading from verse uh, 20. Azar chapter 8, verse 18, rather. It said, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders in Israel. You can see what's happening here now. Now, the Lord purged him in chapter 6. Chapter 8 now, the, the story has changed. The man became a sign to the people. We want to pray that God will make us a sign. Now, we find in many places now where the members are running the altar skater looking for miracle. And of course, we know that people must look for solution to their problem. And sometimes uh, pastors and leaders, we are quick to judge the people. And we are quick to say that they are running the altar skater. Why are they going? Why are they moving up and down? If their problems cannot be solved in the place they are coming, they have to look for solutions to their problem. And we are the one to go before God and tell God to give us solution to the problem of the people. And if God gives us a solution, they will not run elder scatter. That's why if you look at where I just went now, so it's not enough to accuse the children, uh, the members of the church. Look at it. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me, our biological children, our spiritual children. We want to pray, God will make us signs and wonders. God yes. will make signs and wonders to our ministry. One of the signs, one of the things that brought people into the kingdom, even till date, one of the ingredients that bring, that bring people into the kingdom is miracle, is sign, is wonder. That people, some people will never believe until they see some demonstration, until they see the move of the spirit and the power of God being demonstrated in a situation, being demonstrated in a place. And then they can tell that God is here. God is here. Want to pray. Signs and wonders will be wrought through our ministry. Oh, we have God. prayed that God will honor the words that come out of our mouth. And now we just swear how what the uh, Isaiah said that himself and the children, there will be signs and wonders. Let's pray that signs and wonder will be seen, will be raw, will be real upon our ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? In the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, these people will not believe for us, so they see the miracle. I believe in the blood of Jesus to our ministry. For what on me, oh, yes, for what on me, oh, all on me, my genwa, back on no more, for what on me, oh, Baba, my genwa, back on no more, 
for what told me, oh. Signs and wonders, signs and wonders, follow me in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders will follow me. Signs and wonders will follow my name. Jesus, and then we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Remember, Amen. I, 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 was, I, was, I was talking about. In our ministry, it was Awe Chambak that uh, uh, I think it was in the story of Awe Chambak of what happened in his ministry, how many missionaries were sent to India, and souls were not getting saved. Souls were, were not getting saved until Awish and then he knew that in order to capture these people, powers must be displayed. Power must be displayed. And then I think he asked for some critical issue. Critical problem, about four critical problems, either three or four. Whether one blind, one lame, one. Some just critical issue. Let me not be too sure of the. So, some critical issues. And then somebody was doing, of course, interpreting and all that. And that was how he did that of the prophet of Bar. And uh, <laughs> lo and behold, uh, all of those, their power could not do anything. And then it displayed the power of God. And those problems that were born, Koro Koro with their eyes, the, the Indians people, they were seeing the miracle. And then that's how they were trooping to the man. They know this God and all that, something like that. And now we chapter was one of where they say. And then the interpreter gave him the, the interpretation. What am I saying? What made the people to bow was as a result of what they saw was as a result of the power of God that was demonstrated. There are people that they've been carrying problems and they come to church. Their problems have lingered. We want to pray. God will give us solution to their problems. Mm. People have problems. Amen. They have problems in the church. God will give us solution to their problem. God will give us Amen. it is what we ask for. It is what we ask for. God will give us solution to their problem. People cannot be one Every problem that arises, no matter how long it has carried, my Father and my God, we are calling upon you, trusting in your power, so in the resurrection of power in our people, in the name of Jesus. It is possible for every one of us to receive solution to all our problems in Jesus. Heavenly Father, we look for to you. We need it to be effective. We need it to be Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. To pray. Amen. The Lord we have to be discerning. Spiritual discerning is very important. If we will not go into if we will not uh, enter problem we are not supposed to enter, we must be discerning. It was one of our leaders who was telling us of uh, a woman who had been a prayer warrior and she was a witch herself. But this our leader could not understand how a, a woman who is trying to conduct for other people, conduct, deliver for and admin a witch herself. How did she survive staying and miss prayer with her and she was not caught all of the years, all of the time, and all that? So you might begin to wonder how and how and how. We are going to pray God will increase our antenna, our sensitivity, Amen. our discernment. Amen. 
the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Discernment very necessary. Discernment very necessary in counseling. Discernment very necessary in pastoral work. The Lord will give us discernment. Discernment of the Amen. Spirit. The gift. The God of heaven will sharpen our discernment. The God of heaven will increase our antenna. We shall be so sensitive to the Holy Ghost, sensitive to the voice, to the leading, to the directing. Shall we pray, Pastor? Shall we pray, leader? Please let's talk to God in prayer. The so Father, I pray the name of Jesus. Oh God, help me yeah. to be sensitive. They are not sincere. And you are just asking the person. It's not the same. It's not looking for solution to his problem or to a problem. Oh God, help me to be sensitive. Father of our God, all oh, powerful, the awesome God, we are praying and asking for you upon every one of us, stretching us to know who we are, who we are moving with, and be able to detect oh, whatever thing open my eyes, open my ears, open our lives, open my ears, and send this in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, O God, whatever in the name of Jesus, O Lord, just know. Amen. I pray for Pastor Matt to the work is quite demanding. There are no much laborers, and the only issue is we are going to pray that all that it takes, all that it takes, all the necessary gifts, all the necessary empowerments. All the necessary things to make full proof of his ministry. May God bestow upon Pastor Matthew Akamu. Shall we pray? Pretty further, I pray the name of Jesus. All the Pastor Matthew will to Jesus. Pastor Matthew, who do I feel will give it to me? Only your able hand. The strength of God from above will come upon him. Every thing will be upon him. The wisdom to carry out the work we have given unto him, O Lord, to be abundantly supplied is to go about the journey in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, strengthen him, energize him, give him. Jesus Wisdom. might in the name. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to pray. Mm. Another thing the devil is using in this uh economy on the leaders and pastors. There are pastors that seriously, seriously, there are financial constraints, and it tends to act part on the ministry work. And then because the family work, the family aspect is affected. <sighs> The ministry. We are going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever the devil is using uh, to get at our pastor financial constraint or any other thing, the God of heaven will clear it all and make our pastor to be focused. God will bless them financially. God will prosper them on every side. Whatever the devil is using to weaken them, you know that the devil can weaken a man by you know blocking his way financially and otherwise. And we think to carry out the ministerial work. We want to pray our pastors, our leaders will not be weakened. God will open the channels. God will open the way for them. Of them that want to pay school fee, school fee. The children's school fee. Those of them that want to pay us when we clear their house rent. Those of them that have one financially, let the Lord clear it all. And make sure that Amen. all the are blocking their way. The Lord clear them all. Shall we pray for our pastor? Let's clear them all. Our Father, our God, our pastor, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come to pray on behalf of all our pastors. Whatever may be the hindrance, whatever may be the blockage, posted by Satan and all his cause and things in our life, from moving forward, we will hinder them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, the power of revelation will clear them up from their lives in Jesus' name. He there shall be open the door. There will be no limitation, no loss of and no lack in their lives in Jesus' name. Glorify yourself in the life of your pastor that the work they have assigned to them to you will continue to blossom in Jesus' name. Amen.
lastly, we mm. to... uh, let's understand first and foremost, pastors and leaders, that the work we are doing uh, on a more serious note, humanly speaking, it is not easy. Uh, I will tell you why. You see. Uh, a pastor, a genuine pastor, does not care over his family alone. He cares over the congregation he's leading. So the care of the congregation is his care. Their burden is their burden. Their pain is their pain is his own pain. Their challenge is his own challenge. Is that serious? And they carry so much burden. That's why, if it's not God's mercy and intervention. You see a lot of pastors just dying anyhow because of the care and the burden they carry so much, not just of their family. And they thank God, the scripture that say God, God is able to succor them, those who are going through some tough time and challenges. We want to beg God and cry to God that His grace will be sufficient for us to finish strong and finish well. We Amen. will not stop. Amen. We will not make sheep wait for God. We will not deny. Amen. We will not deny the Lord. Please, uh, Pastor, Amen. help us round up this session. Pastor Mike. Okay, Pastor Mike has left. Pastor Peter, please round up this session for us as we call Pastor Matthew. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, mm. we want to worship and bless your name for right. the great and mighty things you'll be doing in the life of your servants. Oh Lord, we adore you for your word that is yea and amen. Lord, we commit our leaders, oh Lord, into your hands. We pray according to your promises in your word. You will stand with every one of us at these critical times, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, mm. When the end is closed that a lot of things will happen. And today, a lot of us are passing through some situations that even are great trials to our souls. Oh Lord, we pray that the grace to ever say no to the devil, the grace to ever press on, grant unto every one of us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, this mm. time, where some people are rethinking, is it truly easy? Is it truly true that the word of God is yea and amen? Just because of the temporary things we pass through, imagine a servant of God who has God as his God, who is God is the owner of the heaven and the earth. And yet, more small, minute things are very difficult for him to reach. Oh Lord, in heaven we pray that you rest all for your servants, because you have said in your word that you prepare a table before us, even in the presence of our enemies. You said the riches yes, of the Eden are for your children. Oh Lord yes. God in heaven, we lift up our souls unto you at this time when things are very difficult in this part of the world. In fact, since this government came into power, a lot of things has happened in our nation that today a lot of people are thinking what is actually happening. Answers we do not have. Oh Lord, we pray at this time. You stand all for us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Every pastor mm. that is one challenge or the other right now, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you answer every one of us according to your promises in your words. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every plan mm. of enemy to weaken us. We cancel, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, in your time, we saw that you sent your servant to pick up a fish, open the mouth, and money was brought out, and needs were met. O oh Lord God in heaven, at this time, when a lot of us are facing one challenging on an order, just to meet up our needs, 
according to responsible fathers, according to fathers in the home. Father, open the mouth of fishes for us and provide for every one of us to be able to meet up those little, little things that we need to do easily, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Trust Amen. The Lord into your hands. Father, in this time, O oh Lord, write up for your church. We see a lot of persecution on your church. We see a lot of things. Like here in, in Lagos, where I live, you go to general hospitals, you go to anything that is government establishment, the people you see everywhere are the head covering people. Oh Lord mm -hmm. God, heaven, we are your children. And the works, the jobs are for us too. Father, open way for us and connect every one of us, our members, our children. Lord, connect us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Commit your servant, Pastor Matthew, Lord, into your hands. O oh Lord, we pray that you visit him. Amen. Lord, we have been praying for you day after day, time after time, concerning him, O oh Lord, we pray. You are the God that answers our prayers. And the Bible says, unto you shall all flesh come. This is why we always come unto you. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you answer him speedily and bring peace back to his household, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We commit Pastor Shegu, Lord, into your hands. Look at all this while he has been pressing here and there, knocking here and there, trying to meet up one need or the other. O oh Lord God in heaven, arise for your servant, O oh Lord. I remember in my young days in faith, when I was seeing Makuku, we had testimony, we saw people, especially there was one sister that was going to pay school fees and there was nothing. And you sent an angel to, to bring money physically, not to uh, physical money, brought money physically and drop for that our beloved sister. Oh Lord God in heaven, if you could do this then. In fact, the one that I was very involved in our brother that, that later died at the age of 24, when he was about 21, uh, we, we prayed on that Sunday like this. And you sent an angel to direct the parent to take him to an hospital. And before they got to the hospital, doctors were ready to operate when they have not even seen patients. And as soon as they go to the hospital, they say, welcome, welcome. They take the young brother in. That is brother... Um, what is his name now? Biodu. They took him in and operated in less than 15 minutes. They brought out everything that busted in the stomach. And the parents were thinking and said, What kind of God do you, this deeper brothers, serve? It was later through your ministration, we knew it was an angel that came and do that job. Oh Lord, if you could do this at that old time, what has happened today, Lord? that your servant will be looking for just uh, small money that is up to nothing to meet up in it. And yet, everywhere it's like blood. Father, open up for your servant, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Lord God, in every one of us, we cry unto you, O oh Lord, open all the locked doors for us so that we will Amen. rejoice. At this time, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answer prayers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Because of our time and our brother, I think we should just put everything to the uh, uh, receiving large divine intervention. God will bless every one of us in Jesus' name. Please let us share the God will help us in Jesus' name. Let us share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives. 
and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Amen. Are you too?